Okay, so before we remove the time timing belt, we're gonna need to line up our uh, timing marks. So uh, for the uh, crankshaft sprocket, we're, we're gonna line up this pink mark uh, on this arrow right here, right there. So this is gonna ensure that we're uh, cylinder one top dead center of the combustion stroke. And then at the same time for the camshaft sprocket, we want this mark right here to be around here and uh, with the green dot facing up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start turning the uh, crank. So get yourself a long extension with uh, your E18 socket at the end. And we're gonna start turning till the pink mark lines up with the arrow on the block. Now as you turn, you're gonna feel some resistance that's just because one of the cylinders are, is coming up for the uh, compression stroke. So that's where the resistance is coming from. So just keep turning. Okay. Now our uh, pink mark is lined up with the, the arrow. But as you can see on top, our uh, white mark is all the way on this side we need it to be on this side here so what we have to do is we're gonna turn the crank sprocket one more turn and all our marks is gonna align then Okay, there you go. Now that the pink mark is aligned with the arrow here. And on top, the white mark is facing um, this mark right here. Now we know that uh, the cylinder one is in top dead center of the combustion stroke. Okay, now you might be thinking, um, these two marks should align, but uh, one is slightly above the other, uh, the left side one, and that's completely normal. Um, you want just uh, the left side one to be just above this one. Uh, well, it's gonna do it automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. As long as the pink mark is uh, lined up on the uh, crank sprocket with the, the arrow on the block, you're good. But So don't be concerned about these two not lining up perfectly. Um, that's how it's supposed to be. And then to be sure that we uh, we won't misalign it when we put the new belt, we're gonna use a uh, paint marker and mark the sprocket here, and then mark uh, a mark here, as well as this one, so we know when we put it back, we'll have everything aligned perfectly. Okay, just to be sure, we're gonna put a mark on the sprocket here. Then we're gonna draw the mark on the plastic um, timing cover here. Uh, they already mark it for you from the factory, but if this is going to help you out um, to line up, line, line it up perfectly, uh, use this. Just do some extra marks, take some extra precautions. And then for the uh, left side sprocket, put a mark here where the original green mark is. And draw it all the way up here. Okay, so your marks should look like this. Uh, a white mark on the sprocket and then a white mark on the uh, plastic uh, timing cover. And the same for this one. Just to give you an extra hand to line it up perfectly. 